I've been a sign world owner in Fort Worth, Texas for six years now. I have seven employees and I'm in 5,000 square feet. And what is your previous career before sign world? I was a sales executive in the apparel industry. How often do you travel or go on vacation? How would you say your work-life balance is? I work hard and I play hard. Uh, we're going somewhere at least once a quarter, every quarter. Um, I have no fear of, of taking time off. Uh, my team has been trained to be autonomous. However, uh, they call and I'm there. What is the best thing about Sign World and being a Sign World owner? The best thing about Sign World is no rules, no royalties. When you're looking at going into business to have this kind of structure and format without any strings attached is a wonderful thing. Best thing about being a Sign World owner is that you're in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. I found that when I vetted other opportunities of a similar nature, the pay it forward culture of the Sign World ownership, uh, I didn't see that in any other alternative. Very good. What is one thing you wish you did earlier, knowing what you know now? The one thing that I, I tell prospective um, owners is that um, most people find this product on the internet, okay? Uh, so that I wish, and I tell people who start this, get a pay-per-click campaign right off the bat. Get a pay-per-click campaign, get those leads coming in, be visible to your marketplace. The best way to be visible is to pay for it. What is your best advice for a new owner? The best advice for a new owner is to answer the phone. Answer the phone, be first in, first in wins, and get yourself a pay-per-click campaign. The three of those, and you should have a great first year. Explain your training experience. Did it give you confidence in starting a brand new business? The training experience is like drinking from a fire hose. But uh, it's, it's adequate. It, is, it, it covers everything uh, that you know, there is, but um, there's still that day when you open up the uh, doors and the world comes uh, charging in. Describe the coolest or most interesting project that you've done. Do you even have a favorite? You know, I do. I, I, I have a iconic uh, sign at the corner of uh, a historic uh, building in Fort Worth, Texas, that is a combination of push through acrylics and neon. And the entire thing changes colors. And uh, yeah, I've got a shot of it with uh, the skyline in the back. It's hands down the coolest sign I've ever done and is considered by the neighborhood itself, the owner, and the um, immediate uh, uh, you know, the people in that particular neighborhood to be the uh, most iconic thing. And it's how they give people directions to their business. Go to the Novak sign. It's the corner of Lancaster and Throckmorton. When did you hire your second employee? My second employee was hired in my 16th month. Do you believe there is enough support in the sign world community to become a successful owner? Easily. Easily enough support in this, in this uh, community to get you where you want to go. After these six years, do you still enjoy going to work? I love it. There is nothing more exhilarating than pursuing a big opportunity to the point where you actually get the order. Getting a big order, is there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. What would you say the hardest part about being a sign world owner or business owner is? The hardest part about being a business owner, especially if you come from corporate America like me, is that there's no so there, there's no infrastructure, no support. If the computer goes down, I'm the IT guy. If the toilet backs up, I'm the plumber, okay? Uh, I'm paying the bills, I'm doing this until you're in time long enough to have 
built your own organization, you are your own organization. That's the toughest part in the beginning. What advice would you give a new owner for hiring their first employee? Make a connection. Um, my first employee is still with me to this day, six years later. Um, and I think that's because during the interview process, we made a connection. There was something that he was looking for out of his next opportunity, and there was something I was looking for in my first employee, and we are, our, our interests were aligned. And it worked. Do you have any sign world owners around you and do you compete with them? Or are you worried about them being your competition? Or do you collaborate with them? I have, I have many sign world owners in the DFW Metro and I never worry about them as competitors. Um, we protect each other as competitors. We collaborate with each other. Uh, it's a win-win situation. I, I don't see it um, as an issue at all.